I can't believe I'm saying it, but Navitas could get crushed by a competitor, and I'm afraid the market hasn't priced it in yet. Navitas trades around seven bucks. Marvell near 81. One is up 300% in a year, the other is down almost 10%. So the real question is which one actually goes up from here? And honestly, I'm a bit skeptical. Marvell just posted almost $2 billion in quarterly revenue with 58% year over year growth. Navitas saw their revenue fall 53% to just over $10 million while they restructure to Navitas 2.0. And those numbers alone should make anyone pause. But here's the thing. Marvell's got a new technology that doesn't just improve efficiency. It pushes them directly into Navitas's territory for the first time. If that tech works at scale, it could erase Navitas's advantage overnight. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm watching that might reveal who survives the shift and who can get crushed by it. You'll know exactly which company is positioned to win, what the risky bet looks like, and how I'm thinking about it from an investor's point of view. Hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999, and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. So I'm sure you've been hearing more and more about artificial intelligence and the AI boom. Two such companies are, that are in this is Navitas and Marvell. These are companies that build different chips for different purposes. But now Marvell's latest technology could give small cap Navitas a run for their money. But can they survive? Let's find out. And trust me, the gap between these two may be a lot smaller than you think. By the way, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our friends at Moomoo Moo for sponsoring this video. I gotta say, I'm loving their AI assistant. I mean, it's kind of like ChatGPT, but it's connected with real-time market data so you can get in-depth and pinpoint analysis. And if that's not enough, new and qualified users from the States can get up to $1,000 worth of NVIDIA stock and up to 8.1% APY for a limited time with their Cash Sweep program. Scan this QR code or check the link in the description to see why 27 million users trust Moomoo for their everyday trading needs. First up, we have Navitas. This is a company that supplies builders with super chips that make the transfer of power quicker and more efficient. Charging your phone, for example, Navitas Tech can bring the power from your wall into your phone quicker than ever before. But now, Think of why EVs can charge so fast, or the type of power that large data center uses. That's what Navitas does. Built on efficiency, they're carbon neutral certified, and they also help others reduce energy consumption. And that matters because efficiency is becoming one of the biggest competitive levers in the entire semiconductor space. And this tech is made from GAN and SICK instead of the tried and tested silicon that helps them compute faster with less electricity. And that just means that companies can save more money on power and produce more output. And that means bringing in more revenue while spending less. Of course, more watts in, less waste out, which is exactly what high demand AI systems crave. And these chips, they show up in your everyday gear that you already know, like phone and laptop chargers, electric cars, and the power supplies that keep big data centers and AI servers running all day. And that results in energy and money saved. So if you've ever wondered how everything from your phone to an AI supercluster stays powered so efficiently, well, Navitas is a very big part of that story. Then we've got Marvell, which is also a semiconductor company. They were founded in 1995. Marvell today is already a trusted name in the semiconductor space, and they help move data from A to B. And in a world built on AI throughput, moving data efficiency is half the battle. Their main job is to move, store, and protect data rather than to do the heavy AI number crunching. Think processors for wireless computing, Ethernet switches, and storage. Marvell produces everything that an AI data center needs to be fully integrated and run smoothly. Think of them as the plumbing behind every AI model that you use today. You never see it, 
but nothing works without it. And while they both might be AI companies, they serve different functions in the industry, which is exactly why comparing them gets dicey, especially once you see where their markets start to overlap. Navitas stock is currently trading around $7, while Marvell trades at about $81. And you can also see that they're both very volatile. Navitas is a 60 month beta of around three, while Marvell's is around two. High beta means higher swings, and higher swings usually mean higher risk. Year to date, though, Navitas stock has more than doubled, while Marvell is down nearly 26%. And over the last 52 weeks, Navitas stock rose almost 315%, while Marvell stock has declined almost 9%. Hmm. But these are just historical numbers. You can't rely on these numbers alone to decide what's better. You need to see the whole story. So to do that, let's get into the financials. Because price without context, it's just noise. If we look at their most recent data for the second quarter of fiscal 2026, Marvell's revenue rose to around $2 billion, which is up 58% year over year. And that kind of top line acceleration is very rare for a company of their size, which is why it kind of jumps off the page. And it just shows that Marvell sustained profit for three quarters in a row, which is great news for those who hold the shares. Consistency matters more than luck, and three quarters is a trend. But surprisingly, revenue from Marvell's data center wasn't as strong as we all expected. It only grew 3% from last quarter. With data centers being pivotal to the expansion and growth of AI, Marvell's snail like growth can be worrying, especially because data centers are supposed to be their growth engine, not a speed bump. Now, for Navitas, revenue dropped. to around $10 million compared to the same period last year. And it was a 30% decrease from the previous quarter. Now, on the surface, it looks brutal. But here's what most people are missing. This is all because Navitas is trying to nab specific clients that spend way more than the low margin customers. It explains the significant drop in revenue, proving that Navitas is thinking more about their long-term profit strategy. They're trading short-term pain for higher margin future gains. So how do you pick between the two? And this has come up in my Discord. Well, right now, Navitas's bread and butter are the GAN and SICK semiconductors. These green energy chips are an efficient and sustainable design for AI-powered tools, and it's predicted to capture a sizable chunk of the market by 2027. And if that forecast holds, Navitas could ride a massive wave of demand. However, and this is a big however, Marvell just announced the Piver Power solution, which, like Navitas's tech, is supposed to minimize energy losses while increasing performance. And the streamlined size and stronger processing power allow developers a major step up in power delivery, which could significantly boost rack level and data center operations. In other words, Marvell just stepped onto Navitas's turf with a much larger footprint. While they weren't in direct competition before, Marvell's new tech could ultimately take away from Navitas's market share. They were once in their own corners of the AI space, but growth is leading them to solve identical problems. And when two companies suddenly chase the same problem, one usually loses market share and fast. Navitas may have had the more efficient tech, but now that a bigger company like Marvell can produce something similar, they can outgrow and outpace a small cap stock like Navitas. Scale wins far more often than innovation, especially in semiconductors. So if you had to buy one, Marvell or Navitas today, Which one would you choose? Well, consider that a consensus among 34 analysts think Marvell stock is a moderate buy with an average score of 4.35, and they have a high target price of $122. And over the last few months, the score has dropped a little from a strong buy, but it still means that analysts see around 45% upside. Not bad for a company sitting in the mid-cap range. 
Now, for Navitas, there's an average hold rating with a score of 3.22 from nine analysts, and there's a high target price of $13, meaning there's as much as 63% upside in the stock. Like Marvell, this rating has dropped a little over the last few months. Higher upside, but higher uncertainty. Classic small cap profile. Look, both have significant roles in the growth of the industry and have seemed to be hitting some pretty decent numbers lately. But with Marvell unveiling their Piver Power solution, a small cap company like Navitas should probably be worried about their future, at least as it stands. Because once a giant enters your lane, survival becomes a strategy, not a guarantee. If I had to put a dollar on it, I bet on Marvell. Even if Navitas is the underdog with more upside potential to multiply your money, I'd feel safer with a medium cap player like Marvell, especially with their new technology and historical success. I mean, I think it could be difficult for Navitas to compete if Marvell continues to make advancements. And in investing, safety plus growth usually beats hope and volatility. But what about you? What do you think? Do you think Marvell will dominate or do you think Navitas is going to pull forward? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found the video helpful because it'll help others find a video, it'll support the channel, and you won't miss out on my future deep dives. Well, folks, that's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.